I think the overall is pretty much there. The values, the um, colors, color temperature, and so on are pretty much in place. One thing I will do, show you this painting in grayscale. And there it is in monotone. Give us some idea of the, the values. All right, here's a closer look in monotone. You see pretty much everything in the foreground, apart from what is in the foreground in sunlight, is still darker than everything in the background. So that's where we want to basically keep all of our values close together in those areas, in those zones if you like. You could consider the entire background as a zone, and the values within each of those zones are very close together, despite their color temperature differences. And looking at a painting like this in monotone, is a good way to see that. You can see I'm looking at that rock in the background there and that's the the basically the main rock in shadow, the snow in shadow and the reflected light hitting the rock. Those values, are, apart from the snow of course, but the, the values within the rock itself are all very very close. Same with that structure. you some idea of the texture, at least in grayscale. Right. And there we are in color, back to color. All right. I'll be adding more details to this and then I'll show the final painting. Okay, so we're back to it. As you can see, there are some, uh, some some more detail additions I've made since uh, since the last section. Line here. That's Okay, these, these would be considered accents. Um, uh, little areas of highlights and tiny little details and so on. It's a classic accent. You don't want to go nuts. Too many highlights would kill your painting. It would look forced. This warm light in here, this warm color, it's, it's as if it's reflecting from something down, some of this orange down here. The value works, but I just think the, the color temperature is just a wee bit too hot. So I'm going to dry brush some of that gray back over it just to knock it down a little. It feels a bit better.